For the first time, Mexico postponed monetary meetings to follow US Fed meetings. The four remaining monetary policy meetings in 2015 have been postponed between one and four days after US Fed meetings. Does this mean Mexico will follow US policy moves? Joining me to discuss is Natalie Rivette. So Natalie, unemployment rate in Mexico is the lowest on record. However, business confidence out today is higher and consumer confidence reached the high of 94.7. Is the central bank in Mexico overly cautious? Um, I think banks, Mexico has toned down the hawkish comments that they've made um, back in February when they signaled that a preemptive rate hike, preemptive of the Fed, would be possible. Um, and they've since maintained a body neutral data dependent policy stance. But given the evolution of domestic activity, I wouldn't necessarily say this is more cautious than necessary. Um, after all, CPI has remained stuck around the 3% target amid a lack of inflationary pressures, whilst economic growth, although stronger than that of Mexico's other EM peers, it's still fairly uh, sluggish. I think um, official forecasts from the central bank are now for a 2 to 3% expansion for this year and 25 to 35 for the next year. But, I mean, these are lower than previous estimates. So, really, I think for every month the central bank can postpone a rate increase, the more support they can offer to the economy, essentially. Are you expecting Mexico to match the policy moves of the US in regards to rate rises, regardless of data released? And in terms of data, where are you expecting Mexico's next inflation rate to fall? Um, I think Mexican inflation will probably inch up in June, but there's a risk that it will still stay under the central bank's 3% remit, um, given the decline in energy costs and what has been a relatively weak pass-through from exchange rate shifts. Uh, this, along with the expectations of a steady US policy this month, I think should further ensure that Mexico's overnight rate is kept at 3% at its meeting on July the 30th. Um, I think it's widely regarded that a pre a preemptive rate hike is kind of off the cards now. Um, but that said, the central bank's recent decision to move its policy meetings for the remainder of the year to after the FOMC decisions shows that it still very much intends to act once the Fed does. Um, I think we wouldn't rule out a rate increase, possibly of 25 basis points as early as the September the 21st meeting, should the US actually start to normalise policy a few days prior. And I think this is the general market consensus at the moment. The peso fell to record lows against the dollar yesterday. Does Mexico still stand to benefit from a strengthening US economy? Uh, the peso's depreciation against the dollar this year, I think it's been about 7%, almost 7%. It really sort of illustrates the problems faced by popular emerging market trades at a time of anxiety about higher interest rates in the US although the sell-off of late has actually been exacerbated by risk aversion stemming from Greece, even though there is no direct conta uh, contagion to Mexico. Um, but the fact that the peso is an emerging market benchmark and easy to trade means that it is bearing the brunt of investors' negative change in sentiment towards the overall region. Um, however, a US rate liftoff should ultimately, I think, be a positive thing for the peso, as any economic strength stateside should benefit the Mexican economy. And once the Fed hikes rates, it shouldn't take long, I think, for Banksico to follow. And as, as they will be keen to avoid any long-lasting gaps between both, you know, the domestic and U.S. rate differentials, I think this could, if they, if they left this gap, you know, too big for too long, it could further weigh on the peso. Um, but with all this in mind, we do think that the recent peso sell-off has been somewhat excessive, and we would expect strong fundamentals, of, you know, Mexican strong fundamentals to eventually help the currency to outperform the likes of the Brazilian Real. And once the bold risk of sentiment dies down, I think we should start to see this. Well, Natalie, thank you for speaking with us today. That's all that we have time for. But for further updates, keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.